Hey, what's up everybody? It's Stacey Storino. Welcome back to my channel, the number one place for entrepreneur moms with a digital presence. Now, if you've been creating content for Instagram, whether it's reels related content, a feed post, an IGTV video, or an Instagram story, and you don't think your content marketing, regardless of the format, is getting you the three macro conversions you need, meaning more followers, more email opt-ins, and more sales, and now you're frustrated and think that content marketing on Instagram's a waste of your time, please allow me to share with you my entrepreneur mom Instagram hashtag strategy because it might just help you get all three of those macro conversions thanks to your Instagram content marketing efforts, mama. I'm going to have you blow up your Instagram with this hashtag strategy. So make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get real world help that entrepreneur moms like you need to succeed when you're doing business online today. Now, if you've been wondering about how to use Instagram Reels for your business, I'll share with you some tips, tricks, and techniques so that you can leverage the power of Instagram's newest feature to increase your business conversions in an appreciable way without you doing silly or dopey things when you're creating your short form video content to market your business. So be sure to check that video out if you haven't already. But here in this video, I'm going to teach you how to blow up your Instagram with this hashtag strategy, and I'll do you one better. I'll explain why this entrepreneur mom hashtag strategy actually works to fetch you the three macro conversions that you need in order for your business to succeed. Because you're not creating content just for fun. You're doing it for profit too, aren't you? Yeah, you are, mama. Hashtags matter. Instagram uses hashtags in order to index or organize and store content for retrieval on its application. So that hexadecimal symbol is perhaps more important than you might have first thought, mama. It's not just something those crazy kids use as part of their caption when they create, optimize, publish, and syndicate content on the Instagram platform. A caption is important in terms of your Instagram content, no matter what type it is, feed, post, IGTV, video, reel, and crafting high converting captions is definitely something I'll cover in another video in this series. But for right now, it's my guess that you likely need to start viewing your caption and your hashtags as two separate components of not just publishing Instagram content, but strategically optimizing that content for better discoverability via organic search on the Instagram platform. Hashtags are digital breadcrumbs. Think of hashtags a different way here. They're like digital breadcrumbs that help members of your niche find your content and your business where they discover a piece of content in organic search and it leads them to your account. But keep in mind that you have to have a public account or business account in order to best leverage this. And since it's free to do so, I really do feel that you should also make sure that your account is upgraded to an Instagram business account so that you can have access to business account related tools such as analytics that will help you to understand your audience and create content that's more to their liking. But even that concept, Mama, the one about Instagram analytics or insights is a whole other video for a whole other day, okay? You'd better subscribe to this channel. It's going to help you out with your entrepreneur mom content marketing strategies for your business for sure. Community counts. You should know that using hashtags as digital breadcrumbs not only helps people find you organically and actively in search, but it also helps the Instagram algorithm to determine what kind of audience your content should be served out to that aren't searching on, say, content optimized via a given hashtag right this second, but could and often do search for content like that. And voila, Instagram's al algorithmic matchmaking 
making helps you to find even more followers faster than you otherwise would have without the assistance. This might just be happening via, say, your content hitting the explore page on Instagram. And it's human nature, assisted by a machine learning algorithm, that the more you post content using those types of hashtags that your ideal customer or members of your niche would use when searching for content in connection with the type of interest that they have relating to the solutions you offer for sale as an entrepreneur mom to solve problems and or satisfy desires, well, the more you post content optimized with the same or at least similar or related hashtags that your people use to search on in connection with that interest, the more of an overall community that you'll create on Instagram. See, this is how you create a community on Instagram right now, by using hashtags. Hashtags are related to an interest that people have in common. Hence, there's a community out there for you who will enjoy you and your content once they start finding you one piece of well-optimized content at a time in organic search on Instagram, that is. The more of a custom-crafted communal feel you create, both through your content itself and your engagement with comments that appear in connection with your content, the more followers you score. And the more, over time, views you'll rack up, the more likes and comments your content will collectively get, and the more likely it is that people will click on the link in your bio in connection with your Instagram profile. So that's two out of the three macro conversions that I mentioned earlier. How about sales? <laughs> well, that takes us to the subject of the magic hashtags. You don't add just any old hashtags when attempting to optimize your content. And as an entrepreneur mom, I feel overall that you should not be using trendy hashtags unless your content just so happens to intersect with a hot trend on Instagram. In which case, that's the exception to the rule. So go ahead and use them. Instead, you should be using the magic hashtags, as I call them, which aren't necessarily industry-specific niche hashtags although you're free to try those out. If members of your niche are advanced and will be conducting searches in connection with industry-specific hashtags, sure, go use them. Otherwise, do not, okay? So to be clear, when I'm talking about magic hashtags, I'm talking about the very hashtags that have to do with the wants and or needs of your narrowed down niche. These are the hashtags that your ideal customers are searching for when they're looking up content to consume on Instagram. Therefore, at the heart of how you blow up your Instagram with this hashtag strategy is you're knowing your niche so well that you know the hashtags that they're likely searching on that relates to their intersecting interest, meaning that from studying your niche thoroughly, you know what hashtags to use to optimize your content that directly relate to what your niche is interested in. So their searching on these hashtags would end up intersecting them with or connecting them with your business in terms of the content that you're creating because they're finding your content via their hashtag related search because you properly optimized your content with, again, the hashtags that they are searching on. And that content that you create, of course, should be all about how the products and or services that you can offer them will help them solve problems and or satisfy the desires that they have in connection with that intersecting interest that brought them to you via search in the first place. So let me use an example to help you understand. In terms of my family business, we're not sweating using any old hashtags. Nah, we're focusing on hashtags like in the case of Joe's Dairy Bar and Grill, hashtag mint chip ice cream, hashtag ice cream, hashtag cookie dough bites. And occasionally, if we can fit in a more broad hashtag, that has to do with our content and our niche, something like hashtag yum. 
if there's space in our hashtag cloud or collection of hashtags that correspond with a piece of content we're trying to optimize to be found in search, sure, we'll use a more broad hashtag. But if there's no space to add it in, then we won't waste our space on a too broad hashtag. We'll stick with something more specific that our ideal customer is likely to search on Instagram. Don't forget, you currently get 10 hashtags for each piece of Instagram story content you create, and otherwise 30 hashtags for each feed post, IGTV post, and reel that you create. Use every single hashtag you get per piece of content you publish. Each hashtag really does represent a way in which your ideal customer can find you on Instagram. Why would you not want to take advantage of every single way to be discovered that you can get? No one's likely searching for your business, especially if it's new or you're new to content marketing on Instagram or both, but they'll find you if you give them enough chances to do so, especially if you're optimizing your posts in an intelligent way. Now you can use a broad or super popular hashtag in your hashtag cloud like once in a blue if you have space, especially after your caption. But again, I'd put it towards the bottom of your 10 or 30 hashtag cloud, if you will, and only if you've run out of any other hashtags that you know how to be competitive for. These super popular hashtags have a million or more pieces of content being indexed with them through the use of them, and you'll likely get buried in those hashtag feed posts in a few minutes. So using them as kind of like a Hail Mary pass would be used in football. You might score a touchdown, but likely not. But at least you used up that last hashtag in your hashtag cloud and tried. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, no sweat. Subscribe to my channel because another video is coming out that addresses how to determine what hashtags you can be competitive for versus others that are Hail Mary passes at best and wastes of your time at worst. But anyway, we at Joe's Dairy Bar and Grill in this example sell hamburgers, hot dogs, milkshakes, and ice cream. Our customers and potential customers aren't necessarily caring about anything other than searching for content that allows them to consume digital comfort food like ours. When you can't have the real thing, or you can but it's not mealtime yet, what do you think people like members of our niche are searching for that might bring them to our Instagram account. You know that it's stuff like hashtag mint chip, hashtag cookie dough bites, and so on, right? So think about what your people are crushing on and want to consume on Instagram that has to do with their needs and their desires and make sure that you optimize your content with those types of hashtags, not overly popular ones, no industry specific ones, no whatever of Instagram type hashtags. I'm not sure your niche knows to search there, do they? You should know if you truly know your niche and their content consumption habits. So put another way, your use of something like an industry term to describe your ideal customer, whether it be an ice cream lover, an equestrian, a hiker, whatever, is not likely going to be the winner in terms of what they're searching on when it comes to hashtags that categorize content that they want to consume on Instagram. Instead, you have to ask yourself, what would the equestrian be searching for in terms of hashtags to see the content they want to consume? What would the hiker be searching for? Not the word hiker necessarily, for example, but perhaps their search for content on Instagram would involve things like hashtag mountain hike, hashtag waterfall hike, or hashtag mountain range. Get it? See, it's not enough to just shove a ton of hashtags into your content as you publish it. You have to be very, very particular about the hashtags that you use, which means that you have to stand in the shoes of your ideal customer and think of search terms, in this case, hashtags, the way you're sure they're likely to do, given your research into them and your fine grain understanding of them as a member of the niche your business serves. Once you 
you've stood in your niche's shoes, you're more likely to start using their search terms or hashtags to optimize your content. And well, what do you know? You're more likely to be found on Instagram by the very people your business is meant to serve in the first place. The riches are in the niches and the riches can be mined with content marketing on Instagram that's not just optimized, but optimized in a way that your digital breadcrumbs will actually be found by your niche in their search efforts in the first place. Once you have the first two macro conversions in place, meaning increased followers and increased email opt-ins because the link in bio should be to your email opt-in page, not your website in order to capture the leads. The third one, sales, won't be too far behind. The more you intelligently optimize your content with hashtags, the more your new followers will get to know, like, and trust your brand and its custom crafted community building relationship marketing content. Content marketing on Instagram persistently and consistently enough, the KLT factor or the no like and trust factor will eventually be so strong, the rapport becomes so great that you'll get messages on Instagram via the DMs or direct messages from interested parties who want to buy your products or enjoy access to your services because they feel familiar with you as a business on Instagram. They have KLT with you. They understand you. And because of your content marketing efforts, it's clear to them that you as the business owner understand people like them too. Not everyone, people exactly like them. And people are willing to pay more for custom crafted solutions that are made for people like them too. Added bonus, right? Now, now, if you want to know what type of content you can create on Instagram that can star your business and your products in such a way that you build up the KLT factor with members of your niche, well, that video is coming. So make sure you hit that notification bell and select all so that you can follow along with this entire Instagram series that I've got to offer you. In the meantime, while you're waiting for that video, be sure to check out these two awesome videos as well. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot when you do that. And of course, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.